guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today we're going to do something a little out left field, especially for this channel. You know, we mainly cover video games, Pokemon cards, um, an occasional rattling video. But today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's not much different. It's a different medium, but it's something different. Um, we're going to review a movie. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to review a movie. So tonight, my fiance, I, I she surprised me. We went to go see Resident Evil: Welcome to Raccoon City. Now, there was a series of Resident Evil movies that were. There was probably seven of these things. I think six or seven. There was a lot of them, and none of them were really great, except for maybe the first two. And I think maybe Apocalypse. I, I don't know if that's the third one. Um, but there wasn't that great, um, and they really didn't follow the story arc of the games, except for there might be some moments where it's like, hey, here's this character, here's this zombie-looking thing from the games. You're like, oh, that's from the games. And it wasn't really great, but they made gangbusters of money in the box office, and it was successful enough to have a whole series after. Now, Sony and Constantine Davis Film decided to reboot the series, and they're going to go back to actually the games, which is surprising. Now, this is not an original story, and a lot of this movie is fan service. If you like Resident Evil, if you've been a series fan for a long time, especially at the beginning, this movie is for you. This movie was not made for a general audience. This was made for the fans. Now, is it good? Yes and no. Yes and no. Um, to go ahead and say you're condensing two games into one movie. It's about an hour and 40 minutes long. So you have a lot of stuff right on. So you're combining the story arc of Resident Evil 1 and 2. And the way they do it isn't too bad. But near the third act, it gets pretty quick. Like things start happening. Boom, 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 boom. Now, the cool thing about the movie is some of the things that happen, you're like, that's from the game. It's literally pulled from the game. Probably not nearly as good, but they pulled it from the game, and it was fan service. Um, I do like the way they portrayed some of the characters, especially Leon. Now, Leon is a much serious character in the games, this time they kind of made him like a bumbling idiot, and they call him the rookie. You know, it's pretty pretty funny. It, was, it, it didn't look like Leon, didn't talk like Leon, didn't share his traits, and he was just like this big bumbling idiot. I fell in love with the character for some reason. Um, <clears throat> then you have things like Lisa Trevor, and I'm going to try not to go deep into spoiler territory, so I'll try not to tell you the complete story. Um, if you are a Resident Evil fan, you already know how this goes. But if you haven't, watch this movie and come back and watch this review. I'm going to try to say out of spoiler territory, but we will be talking about characters and some of the things in the games that was portrayed in the movie. Now, some of the characters, um, you had Jill, Chris, Wesker, um, Claire, Chief Irons, Leon, um, all these characters in there. Now, did they follow the same story arc as the other character? Like in the game? No, no. It's a little bit different. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but it's it kind of creates its own narrative around the game's narrative. Um, and, you know, it tries to get you from set piece to set piece to set piece. Let's go ahead and say this movie was shot on a budget. I don't know why. I figured... The money they made from the previous Resident Evils, maybe they could have sprucened up the uh, this movie, make it you know, hey, we're going to start a new series or reboot series, we want to follow the games and want to put a little bit of money behind it. But they kind of didn't do that here. This is like low to mid tier uh, stuff. What they was able to do with it was pretty uh, pretty cool, pretty cool for me. Like some of the set pieces, some of the areas, like the RPD, uh, the Spencer Mansion, uh, and a few other things. Uh, mainly like zombie um, and liquor and um, some of the other characters, some of their CGI and makeup effects. 
you know, they're hit or miss. They're not something you see from like The Walking Dead, where, you know, they put a little bit of time and effort into the actual makeup. But, you know, it, it was it was cool. Like, when you've seen some of the things, like, let's go ahead and say it. You've seen the trailer. The trailer shows the moments on the first game where you're walking down the hallway and you see your first zombie. Now, when I saw it in the trailer, I thought it looked kind of goofy. Now, watching it on the big screen, it was still pretty goofy. But it was cheesy. It was campy. And I think, I think the movie owes a lot to... You know, the people that's here to watch it, like, you know, we got tired of the whole Alice action movie that was their previous Resident Evils. And this one, like I said, it's just, they pulled things from the game and they put it on film. It's literally what they did. And they tried to tie it up. Now, Claire was, obviously, you know, I like her. I like Jill better. But Claire was way too serious. Like, way too serious and some of the acting bits were pretty bad um and it kind of goes back to like did they do this on purpose to kind of mimic the games because the games had some you know pretty bad acting for the most part in voice work there's some few callbacks like the jill sandwich um a few other cool things that's in there it's also stay to through the the credits there's it's setting up for a sequel um like i said we won't go completely into spoilers, but there are spoilers in here, but I'm not going to, you know. But anyways, uh, there's another character, which she's an enemy in the first game remake. You've seen her in the trailer. Um, it's Lisa Trevor. I don't like what they did with Lisa Trevor. I was confused by that. Really confused. Like, it... It kind of bothered me a little bit. I was like, wait a minute, Lisa Trevor, like, if you go back to the remake, like, it was actually a pretty iconic character. And I kind of think they fumbled a little bit. Just a little too much, actually. I, I, I was kind of pissed off about that because they could have done so much more. Maybe if they had the, maybe if they did the smart thing and split the movie up into two movies one covering the first game, one covering the second game. They had a lot of story to cram in. I know, like, on the original Resident Evil games, you can actually plow through those games in three to four hours if you really know what you're doing. But you're taking ten hours of gameplay, compressing it into an hour and 40-minute movie, and there's a lot of stuff that's going to get lost. Now, the zombie action's really cool. Uh, I think it is cheesy. It's really cheesy. And it's it's so bad it's good, um, and then, like the gore was cool. Um, there's just a lot in this movie that I personally enjoyed, and it's one of those movies I would highly recommend if you're a fan of the series to go see it. That way you can be like, oh, that's in the game. That's in the game. Is this the best video game adaptation of a movie? No. No. Uh, <laughs> of a video game, I'm sorry. This is not the best video game adaptation for a movie. It's not. It's just funny to me. I uh, Like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, if you're a fan of the series, I think you kind of owe yourself... To, if you've watched the other movies and you spent money to see those, there's no reason why you shouldn't go see this one. Now, if you're a regular moviegoer and you're looking for a good movie... Maybe you spend your money somewhere else. This is definitely not a good movie. But it is a good movie. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I think I said too much. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Let me know. You know, I'd like to hear your review. What you guys thought about some of the stuff. And yeah, hopefully, maybe this movie does well enough to warrant a sequel. I hope so. I, I kind of do. I kind of want to see more out of this i think it's personally better than this, the original series it's kind of close to the first movie um which out of all the original movies the first movie and i think the second movie was maybe the best uh they were they kind of followed some of the game stuff but not really um but hopefully they can do a sequel 
Um, we'll see, too. Netflix is doing a Resident Evil TV show. Um, so we'll see there, too. But guys, like I said, be sure to hit that follow button. I definitely appreciate it. I'll see you soon.